Welcome. You are listening to the Fat and Furious podcast. In this podcast series, your host, Steve Bennett, father of seven, best-selling author and adventurer, will be joined by 23 of the world's most forward-thinking medical professionals. Doctors, authors, and top nutritionists, where he'll share the truth behind living healthier and happier for longer. I'm absolutely delighted to be doing the introduction to the podcast and book, Fat and Furious, with the host and author, Steve Bennett. Now, Steve, what I want to get an understanding of is what actually led you to this point. What, what, what caused you to sit down with all these amazing health professionals? So if you go back five years ago, uh, I was obese, I was overweight, and I was expecting child number seven. Now, that was a bit frightening because you know, I was approaching 50, and I was really worried about you know, being around long enough to see you know, the newborn uh, grow up. So I sort of stepped back from my businesses, I started to learn the facts and truth about how to stay healthy, how to lose the weight for good. And, uh, and I became furious about how simple it really, really was. So I wrote the first book, uh, Primal Cure, with the backing of a few doctors. Mm -hmm. But then as that got sort of more well known and got out in the public domain, more and more doctors contacted me. And uh, so we started to write the new book, Fat and Furious, but with the help of well, the book itself, 23 globally recognized doctors and medical professions, uh, professionalists. And, uh, and during that sort of period, we started to interview them. And one of the doctors, Dr. Seema Lopch, said, we should turn this into a podcast series. So we went back and re-interviewed many, many of the doctors. And I think we're giving people the access through this podcast series to some of the world's most brilliant doctors, some of the most forward-thinking uh, medical professionals, professionals who collectively, that most of them are authors, and collectively, I worked out the other day, they've sold over 100 million copies of their health books. But this is sort of behind the scenes uh, of those great authors and, and great sort of doctors and nutritionists. Why is it that you personally wanted to sit with these professionals? What, why yourself, Steve? I think, uh, as Dr. Seem Malocha wrote uh, the sort of credit for my book, he said it's quite interesting to come, from, uh, and I, nice to have for a different opinion, something that's not a doctor. So mm -hmm. there's some great books by some great doctors, many of whom are going to be in the podcast series. Um, and they come at it from a certain angle, but coming at it from a non-medical angle, because I'm not a doctor, I'm just a dad and a businessman who was overweight for most of his life. Um, and an adventurer who was overweight for most of his life. I mean, I trekked to the North Pole and, mm -hmm. and, and, and trained religiously for the year before that, and yet I was still technically obese. I went to the North, North Pole where you burn 9,000 calories a day and I was there for a long time, and I still came back obese. So the, the, the problem is I felt furious about this, and the reason why I've gone out and spoke to all these doctors was to really make sure that I got the right information across in the book, and during that journey of writing the book and authoring the book, it became so apparent that these individuals that you're gonna hear from on the podcast or see on the, the YouTube series, these individuals are the pioneers mm -hmm. of the true story about how to live healthier, happier for longer. Which I imagine every single one of us would love to know. Well, I'd hope so. <laughs> I'd love to understand. Uh, you've referenced that these professionals have collectively written so many books mm -hmm. between them. What? What would I get from, what would someone get from listening to the podcast over perhaps reading one of their books? Okay, so that's a really, really good question. So first of all, let me answer that in several ways. So what will they get from listening to the podcast series or the YouTube series on top of reading the book itself, Fat and Furious, and the, also those individuals' books? So I'll give you just one example. Uh, Dr. Jason Fung wrote a brilliant book. It was one of the books that really helped me on my journey to, to losing weight called uh, the ultimate guide to fasting. And, and in that, he gave us so much information. I mean, it was brilliant. It really, really helped me lose a lot of my weight. And I must have read that book three or four times. But in the podcast series, because I'm on a one-to-one -one interview basis, you know, get, getting it, it's like sitting on the front row at a lecture to one of the most important doctors in the world talking about how to lose weight mm -hmm. by intermittent fasting. But because of the, the scenario we're in and we're having a nice little chat, 
Things are coming out that aren't even in the book. You know, I learned so much from the, the in fact, his was one of the shortest ones because it was the day he was on his uh, 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 hospital uh, duties doing the, the rounds at the hospital. So his was one of the shortest, about half an hour. But in that half an hour, I learned so much about intermittent fasting, even more than I learned from reading the book. Unbelievable. So there's definitely benefit in, in listening. And also I understand watching because you can see a visual video version of it. Why, why would you do the video version also? I think um, I would say the vast majority are great as an audio. There are a couple where you can listen to the audio, I think in Mal Malcolm Kendrick, when he's really going into detail about what really causes heart attacks. And while he's doing that, he's doing some drawings on a, on mm -hmm. a whiteboard. You kind of get the story by listening to the podcast, but to really understand what he's talking about, because it's quite a complex subject, what causes heart disease. Uh, then watching the YouTube video, in that case, might be a better way of doing it. But look, some people learn better from watching, some learn better from listening, some learn better from reading. And what you have to remember is all of them, including the book Fat and Furious, are all not for profit. So mm -hmm. all the profits from the book Amazing. go to further the cause of helping people you know, beat obesity. I love the fact that you've got numerous ways in which you may be able to digest it. As you say, everyone's different and the way that they understand and take in information uh, is, is different for everybody. So what would you like, Steve, everybody to take away from listening or watching perhaps uh, this podcast? What are you hoping people will get from what you've done and the, the, the many health professionals of which you've interviewed? Again, another great question. So um, look, it's quite simple. If you look at the name of the book, Fat and Furious, there are so many people, in fact, the majority of people in Great Britain are overweight. But the furious bit is because it's so simple how to lose that weight when you know the truth. But that truth is being covered up by lies from pharmaceutical companies. It's being covered up by misinformation with doctors. It's been deliberately, we've all been deliberately deceived by the food industry, the pharmaceutical industry, and even the governments have got it wrong with these ridiculous food guidelines that we currently have in Great Britain. So what you'll get from listening to the series is the truth, the truth about health. And the good news, and it's really good news, is that it's actually simpler than you think to live healthier and happier for longer but you have to know the facts and you have to know the truth. And I think, because I've come at it from a different direction, mm -hmm. I haven't tried to write a book for profit, it's a mm -hmm. not-for-profit book, I just wanted to share with everybody with the book and the podcast series the truth about how to live healthier and happier for longer. And for those that, that have, certainly have got children, mm -hmm. it's an absolute either must-read book or a must-listen-to podcast series because all the doctors have given their time up for free, all the nutritionists that we interview have given up their time for free, and they're all speaking from the heart. And making it simple is something that would be music to so many people's ears, all of our ears, to, yeah. to hear. What I would love to know, Steve, in fact, my last question for you is, do you have any personal highlights from any of the interviews of which you've done up until this point? Oh, crikey, great question. Again, um, so many, so many, but rather than me sort of tell you right now, let's actually have a look and a listen to some of the amazing doctors and professionals that we've already recorded. Dietary changes impact on heart disease risk and risk of heart attacks, etc. Uh, actually, true heart attacks and, and death are very rapid, even within a few weeks to months. Just by changing your diet, you, it's, it's not a long haul, yeah. which I think is important for my patients to, to un understand as well, because I think if they think it's a, a, an uphill battle, yeah. I think they're less likely to try that change and think, buddy, oh, this is, you know, if it's yeah. taken years for me to get this way, it's going to take years for it to reverse it. Not true. Now, we do know in most cancers, sugar feeds cancer cell growth. And there's a terribly simple uh, proof of this that if you have, uh, if you're sort of suspected of having cancer, you have a, what's called a PET scan. And a PET scan, and they inject you with this fluoridated glucose, sugar. Um, and if it, they find the cancer cell because the sugar, the fluoridated sugar, goes to the cancer cell. So in other words... That's just saying for a fact yeah. that, 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 that the fuel for cancer is sugar. But they did hundreds of millions of dollars worth of these huge nutrition studies, these big trials, the kind of rigorous science you're supposed to do. And every time they finish them, they find out the diet doesn't work. Cutting out fat, saturated fat and cholesterol didn't work. It didn't spare people heart disease. The more the men lowered their 
cholesterol in the biggest ever experiment test of Ansel Keys' hypothesis, the more the men lowered the cholesterol, the more likely they were to have a heart attack. And there are studies to show that the mineral and trace element content of vegetables that we're eating today have gone down by 50% since the Second World War. Yeah. Now, some of that is probably to do with varieties, but a lot of it, I would suggest, is to do with farming practice. We've been mm. using these chemical fertilizers, they're stripping the soil fertility and the nutrients, and they're not part of a proper sustainable system. We are absolutely adapted for meat consumption and not for, for vegetables and grains. And I, it frightens me, this push towards eating more vegetables. You simply can't get the nutrition. with If you were eating purely vegetables, which hadn't been processed, and you weren't adding in the oils and everything else, humans would have to eat 12 to 14 hours a day to get the calories they need. Well, so if you're not eating 12 to 14 hours a day, what, what are you getting in your diet as, as a vegan or a vegetarian? Loads of highlights. Uh, an overall fairly simple message mm -hmm. and consistent across all the doctors, but all coming at it from a slightly different uh, angle. Well, I can certainly feel the passion, Steve. And if you would like to listen to an incredibly unique health podcast, Fat and Furious, all you have to do is download it now on iTunes, Spotify or Google, or to watch the visual video version, head to YouTube. If you enjoyed the podcast and would also like to watch it online, you can find a webcam version on YouTube or the Primal Living website, www.primalliving.com. The Fat and Furious podcast is the perfect introduction to helping you and those you love live happier and healthier for longer. And if you are a fan of the series, then please let your friends and family know. They'll truly thank you for it and so will we. Until next time, live life naturally.